I'm Stone Away here, and today we are opening Shrouded Fable, or as everyone likes to say, Shit Fable. As today we have the Kingdra and the Greninja box, the special illustration rares. These cards look gorgeous. If I'm going to start Shrouded Fable, I'm going to start it on a good note before it turns into shit. But I figured why not discuss why Shrouded Fable is hated by so many people. Before we start the slander spree, I figured we'll talk about MSRP. So I was able to get both of these boxes for $24.99. Now, surprisingly enough, they still hold very good value. The Greninja box goes for $29.99 MSRP. Now you may find it for cheaper, you may find it for a lot more expensive. I think I saw a listing on TCG Player for this box that was going for like $49.99, which is just ridiculous. And then we have the Kingdra EX box, which goes for $27.99. So they still are holding up which is really nice. These products are probably the best of Shrouded Fable, and it's mainly because of the illustration cards. Now, these cards aren't anything to ride home about. They're not gonna be huge investable cards. They're pretty cheap. You can just buy them outright if you don't wanna buy the box. But the reason that these boxes will probably hold some good value and for the future really is just because of the illustration rares are kind of like alt arts if we look back at the evolution boxes of course they're not as popular as the evolutions but they are very gorgeous they're promo cards you can only get in these boxes and because they're kind of like an alternate art style gorgeous illustration keeping these sealed would probably be a good idea whether or not these boxes will ever surpass a hundred dollars is probably never going to happen but i could definitely see these boxes doubling in value over many many years when scarlet and violet is over now i will admit the setup is a bit janky and that's basically because the big fucking rig to the left of me uh, you can see the glass right there, and it's kind of putting this camera, this table, in a weird spot, especially to do videos. Uh, unfortunately, downstairs, the option is really just impossible because I'd have to be recording in front of my parents, and I'm not about to do that. <laughs> uh, but wow, look at that promo card. That shit just glistens. Oh. I know we're definitely opening this product up pretty late and uh, that's thanks to the people that I bought this from and also thanks to Pokemon because of delaying uh, all their products for Shrouded Fable at different times. So the release was kind of janky, which sucked because I ordered everything at once. So it is what it is. But basically what you get, you get these three Gorgeous promos, really two, one gorgeous promo. Uh, but you do get these which have some gorgeous glittering. Uh, the, I do see some lines here. I don't know if that's actually normal to the card. I think it is, but I, I could see someone thinking that might be like a fucking, I don't know, a mark, I guess. But definitely really, really gorgeous. And then, of course, the cream of la crop, the Greninja EX card. This thing is sexy. Let me tell you. Fortunately, we got a little nick there, so they're not that great, but uh, gorgeous, gorgeous card. One of the things with this box and with these boxes is the promo alt art, as I've said, and as you probably know. Now, interesting enough, the set might have done better if these cards were pullable from the set and not given as promos. The biggest thing with this set as to why a lot of people don't like it is because it's a small set. It's a very small set, not too many fan favorite pulls. You know, the alt arts or the illustration, uh, secret illustration rares aren't really that great. Uh, nothing really too crazy to ride home about. Uh, the full art trainers really aren't that great, but it's a small set and that's what it kind of is. It's a small specialty set. You also get five booster packs. So uh, I did do a little quick look, a glimpse at the set list just to see what I'm working with. 
um, but I definitely don't know what kind of art we're gonna get and I'm sure the art in this set is to be gorgeous but I think the biggest thing as to why you know again it that is interesting okay that is pretty interesting uh that's actually a cool background <laughs> uh the biggest thing is just because it's a small set now to be honest with you this actually isn't as bad as some previous sets like obsidian flames this set is probably the same size as obsidian flames uh maybe a little bit smaller if anything or maybe possibly a little bit bigger uh, so it's probably a similar size, but it's a specialty set. So ooh, we get our first illustrator rare, the Dust Clops. My thoughts would be comparing this to Obsidian Flames. Again, this is a specialty set. So there's probably less product of this than there would be of Obsidian Flames. And there's no booster boxes. So really most of your packs are gonna come out of these products, which give maybe five to six packs. So you're not really gonna get a lot of packs it's going to be hard to get packs expensive to get packs but to be fair again the set list is a little bit weak compared to obsidian flames obsidian flames had a shitload of charizards uh this set just has a lot of like miscellaneous crap i guess uh, i don't really think there's any like big hitter card in the set i mean really the big hitter cards were these promo cards the kingdra and the greninja so I would think that if these two cards were in the set, the value of the set entirely would probably be worth a lot more. Something we also do get, it looks like, is Hollow Energies. Kind of can't see it, but uh, it's there. It's, it's like a matte finish. I'm jerking the light off trying to figure out uh, how to get it angled. It, again, this is just such a weird like way I have everything situated that it just uh, this is going to be interesting making videos like this. Uh, but with that said, you know, it, it's a tough set and I think, you know, value for the set probably won't hold if it's holding at all. We got the Mun Kindori EX full art. Uh, okay. It's a full art, pretty cool looking, but not my cup of tea. I don't even drink tea, to be honest with you. Fuck off. Fuck off inside you out. Excuse me. Fuck off. We can at least say this set is better than the Pokemon Go set. Uh, I don't think anything will be as worse as Pokemon Go, but I think this set, as far as like sealed product, is very similar to Pokemon Go, whereas don't open product on God. Like, I think, honestly, when it comes to this set, probably just getting, why is this light so fucking bright? Or maybe that's just Galvantula. Yeah, maybe it's this card. This thing is so freaking bright. Jeez. I can't even... Okay, there we go. I think. I can kind of see these cards. Now it's going back to bright again. All right. Well, we got the Blood Moon Ursa Ring to finish out. So in this one box, we basically just got a full art and an illustrator rare out of the five packs. If you're looking to complete a master set of this, I think honestly, just outright buy your singles. I don't even think it's worth really opening up this product. And that's gonna be one of the big things about Shrouded Fable is like, really, it's only collectible in keeping the product sealed. It's really the only value you're gonna get out of this and really, I mean, you're probably not gonna get too much value out of that. I think the best value will probably be these boxes. Oh my God. Shrouded Fable wants to kill me now after just shitting on it. But as I was saying, uh, the best value is probably gonna be out of these boxes. I would think, I mean, you have your three pack blisters, you have your ETB, you also have your six pack blister boxes, but really, I just don't even think the packs are going to be all that valuable. It'll probably be more so the promos, if anything. But again, look at how gorgeous this thing is. This is the Kingdra EX going up a waterfall. I mean, I to be honest, I am glad we have these as promos. Because that would really suck if like these two, this and the Greninja, were in the set. And they were going for like 100 200 bucks. Then it would like totally 
make Shroud and Fable go crazy because besides these two cards, there'd be nothing else worth anything really. Uh, but we get them as promos. So again, it's kind of nice and I'm kind of glad that I can actually have these cards. I don't have to go crazy. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, man, this kind of killed the set in a way. Uh, five more packs. But I will be doing a one of everything. And then uh, I'll probably just buy out every card that I want from this set. Uh, I, I, I don't think I'll probably do any more openings of Shroud of Fable once I've done one of everything. So we will see. And I think a lot of people didn't realize, especially me, that this set was going to be so piss poor. Uh, I mean, you don't really get to see the set list. We do have something back here. The neutralization zone. This is where they neutralize your balls. Oh, yikes. And Dustclops are again hiding in the back like a freaking stalker. Uh, damn it. And this is one of the issues, I guess, with a smaller set is you're going to be pulling multiples of the cards. And out of everything we could have pulled, why did it have to be this? That is kind of my thoughts on Shrouded Fable. Uh, I, I do think over time this might be a set that could go up in a little bit of value, but probably not and will stay pretty cheap for quite a while. I mean, Obsidian Flames is pretty cheap. The best card being the Charizard in that set, and I think that card is worth still like 40, 50 bucks. So I still don't even have it. Like, and I really wanted that card, but I just know, like, I, I don't. I'm not worried that that card is going to go up in value. I'm not even worried about any of these cards. And I mean, really, that's kind of been my whole thought process with Scarlet and Violet. There has been some sets that I did worry about. And I think, unfortunately, uh, Scarlet and Violet is now going downhill a little bit. Uh, definitely was going up. Uh, with some of the cards just being worth so much money, it, you know, it really started with 151 and uh, now unfortunately it's kind of tanking back down with these piss poor sets. I mean, the newer sets, I think was a sparkling, sparkling spark, some shit with Pikachu. And then there's like another one, which really, I, like I hear mixed things about. I'm actually really glad that supposedly they're adding the trainer cards or the trainer's Pokemon where they have the little picture of the trainers. I love those type of cards, so I'm really hyped for that. But besides that, I mean, I feel like it's just there's really not much to look forward to. And uh, it, it is what it is. I mean, you can only just like suckle the tit of fucking illustrator cards for so long before you know, they kind of get stale in a way. I mean, gorgeous art is gorgeous art, but they're needs to be some type of new gimmick i would think uh either that or just you know more art i guess if you can't do it just milk more art because that's been any set with values just more art i will say uh trainer cards full art trainers are finally getting some pretty big love i mean it's been pretty quiet uh since iono and uh now some full art trainers are going up in value uh, from scarlet and violet and uh these newer sets man some of these full art trainers might be worth a good amount of money and it might actually bring us back to the point where there are full art trainers worth more money in a set than pokemon as always shroud of fable sucked but it's pokemon what can i say uh it's it's nice to finally open Pokemon again. Sucks that uh, finally get to open this now that the hype has died down for Shroud of Fable. The fake hype. The hype that really shouldn't have been hyped. But I was kind of hyped because I was like, ooh, Shroud of Fable, that's pretty cool. I mean, I even bought a fucking Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. So that's how you know I was hyped, uh, which we will be doing an opening of that. But uh, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. It's a simple specialty set, I guess. There's just nothing too crazy with it. The best cards come in the form of promos for the product. So besides that, it's like, why bother? Uh, probably the singles market will be the way to go. And that'll probably be what I do. Uh, I don't see this turning into Shining Fates, which Shining Fates had kind of uh, a shitty illustrator thing. It was kind of just like two, three illustrator cards and then a bunch of secret illustration rares, which I guess gives that set more value than what we have here. But again, it's just a small set, a bit lackluster with the Pokemon, especially the full art trainers. I think there's like four or five full art trainers and one secret illustration trainer. So that kind of blows. Um, but 
it is what it is. Hey, boy, face my love.